Hi, hello, this is Praveen. Today I came up with one more lesson from uh, geography part. Indian forest resources. In this particular part we are going to discuss about uh, different types of forest available in uh, India and their characteristics and uh, areas of uh, different types of forest. Importance Types of Types Distribution of forest in India Conservation Wildlife sanctuaries National parks in India Biosphere reserves of India All these we are going to discuss So here Before that uh, Let's uh, discuss about uh, What is the meaning and uh, importance of forest The first one meaning is large area of land covered with trees and undergrowth is called forest it's very simple it is a large area of land covered with trees that is nothing but forest it is generally extensive and commercial value and uh, importance forest it provides raw materials for industries provide a fodder for livestock employment opportunity for the people and preserve the physical features one of the very important thing is it check the soil erosion and control flood because the roots of the trees holds maximum amount of out, outer layer of the soil and doesn't let it uh, wash away and prevent a desertification which is a very important thing and uh, forest improves the soil fertility because uh, leaves of trees fall on the earth and uh, decompose with soil and increase its humus content and uh, forest makes the climate very equable it is the shelter for wildlife forest is nothing but the home of animals types of forest in india Types of forest which is in India is uh, depends on climate because uh, you can't find uh, same and uniform type of forest everywhere on the earth. There are different types of forest on the earth and different types of forest in India as well. It is always based on some of the very important factors that is climate. And soil the trees usually depends on fertility of the soil and how the relief feature is whether uh, desert area whether mountain area whether closer to the ocean on this background the types of forest become difference and uh, the types of forest can be classified into six types one is tropical evergreen, tropical deciduous, and uh, scrub forest, grassland, desert vegetation, mountain was, uh, forest, mangrove forest. First one, let's focus on evergreen forest. Evergreen forest, here we have to observe where evergreen forest we can find. It is always on the basis of rainfall where there is heavy rainfall annual rainfall exceeding 250 centimeter there is tropical evergreen forest these forests uh, mainly found you observe their western slopes of western guards northeastern states of assam nagaland tripura totally northeastern states 
Andaman Nicobar also. So in this map uh, you can observe uh, there are uh, greeny areas which are blinking. Those are all evergreen forest areas. These forests are very dense. Trees usually having great height. This is one of the very important unique feature of evergreen forest. Dense and great height. Again, uh, do not shed their leaves during the air at the same time. So that this uh, forest usually green throughout the air. Do not shed their leaves. Hence they are evergreen. Here uh, we can uh, find some of the very important trees. Teak, rosewood, ebony, mahogany. Gurjan, Champa, these are the very important valuable trees, those we can find in evergreen forest. One more, tropical deciduous forest. Deciduous forest where we can find, where there is 100 to 200 centimeter rainfall, there is deciduous forest. Where we can find deciduous forest, the same areas as uh, evergreen forest, Western Ghat including Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Chota Nagpur Plateau, the foothills of Himalayas having uh, this kind of forest. Trees here shed their leaves during spring. And early summer this is the very important feature of deciduous forest the trees shed their leaves during spring or during uh, summer because of this reason these kind of Tropical uh, deciduous forests are also known as monsoon forest because uh, uh, before the coming of monsoon season they shed their leaves and reappear. Monsoon forest. One more uh, name for deciduous forest that is monsoon forest. Here some trees are uh, teak, sal, sandalwood. Sandalwood is one of the very important tree that can find that uh, we can find in tropical deciduous, very valuable tree, sandalwood, kusum, kanju, and many more uh, you can see on the screen, mango, neem, tamarind, these are all trees in tropical deciduous. One more, scrub forest and grassland. Where we can find such kind of vegetation, uh, where there is 60 to 100 centimeter of rainfall there is scrub and grassland uh, these uh, scrub and grassland having short growth grass and thorny trees and bushes are uh, usually find here we can't find such great trees having great height only a small grass and uh, thorny trees and bushes scrubs here and there they found in uh, the places where uh, grassland and scrub forest fa we can find Kutch and the uh, fringes of Thar Desert Gulf of Kutch Gujarat and uh, Thar Desert area and surrounding area Rajasthan, Rajasthan there there is uh, scrub forest and grasslands And uh, grasslands are mainly found in uh, Rajasthan, what uh, earlier I said, Punjab. One more fourth type of forest is desert vegetation. Desert vegetation, there is no great resource of forest, but still here and there we can find some of the vegetation. Where there is 10 to 50 centimeter of rainfall annually, there is desert vegetation. 
the third third desert including parts of uh, just before we discussed punjab haryana rajasthan deccan plateau there is desert vegetation mainly thar desert area because of scanty rainfall the vegetation is totally scattered and uh, trees are very limited and only we can find their thorny bushes here is some of the very important vegetation jhand kher kolko babul cacti kejra these are very important vegetation we can find in desert vegetation one more that is mountain forest the forest which grow on the slopes of mountain those are called mountain forest the name itself tell you that mountain forest the forest that can find in forest sorry mountain areas hilly areas that is mountain forest plants and trees are very with increasing altitude this is very unique feature the plants and trees are in higher altitude higher altitude from uh, mean sea level the trees are oak chestnut ash beech pine cedar spruce fir the other walnut these are the trees we can find in higher altitude on the slopes of mountain on the top of the mountains these are the trees we can call mountain forest and desert vegetation in india they occur in himalayas and to small extent in uh, nilgiri hills one more mangrove forest this is a very unique uh, forest type compared to other type of forests these are the trees and plants found in wet marshy areas remember wet marshy areas particularly river deltas and coastal uh, regions there is mangrove forest these forest usually very limited only in deltas only coastal regions mangrove forest mainly found in deltas of rivers eastern coast of india and also found in uh, pockets of on uh, western coast of india important trees observe here rhizopora this is the tree canes screw pipe palms sundari tree because of sundari tree found in mangrove forest it is also called as sundarbans sundari trees trees are very abundant there so that we also call mangrove forest as sundarbans tree trunks are supported by number of stilt like roots which are submerged under water one of the very unique feature of these trees aerial roots each twig of the tree have its own separate aerial roots to support to the twig what we call stilt like roots we also call them uh, aerial roots uh, i would like to give example for that uh, banyan tree banyan tree having uh, uh, aerial roots for each and every twig around there distribution of forest we have uh, 7.74 lakh km square uh, forest area which accounts for uh, 23.6 total geographical area but uh, it must be 33.3 estimated and recommended by recommended by nfp national forest policy
in 1952 according to the size and according to the population of india it must be 33.3 but at present it is 23.6 and uh, forest in india are not uh, evenly distributed yes of course it is not distributed everywhere evenly nearly 60% of the forest area of the country is in himalaya yes and uh, 20% in peninsula northern plains here of which is the highest and which is the lowest madhya pradesh has the largest area under forest madhya pradesh and goa very least forest in india madhya pradesh and goa destruction of forests what are the reasons for destruction of forest one is expansion of agricultural land the man has been cutting the trees and converting the forest area into agricultural land that is the main reason one more reason for destruction construction of roads yes one more reason irrigation projects construction of dams reservoirs there is destruction of forest because of industrialization industries are increasing so that forest decreasing forest uh, get depleting because of urbanization i mean cities are expanding totally the city is becoming wider and wider by slashing the forest urbanization because of overgrazing forest get distracting frequent uh, grazing of cattle in a same place that leads to destruction of forest one more reason is forest fire it is the very destructive reason that is uh, leads to destruction of forest sometimes uh, fire that uh, spark of naturally sometimes it may be manually the forest fire spark up that leads to destruction of forest so in this particular class we discussed about uh, forest and its types and also what are the reasons for destruction of forest thank you for joining